What's on YouTube? It's PTT, back at it with another Destiny 2 video. Today, guys, I am going to be showing you how to get an absolute ton of gunsmith materials. Now, you might ask why you want a lot of gunsmith materials. These obviously can be used to turn into the gunsmith. They will give you legendary weapons. They will give you mods for your armor. They will give you possible exotics. And, of course, it is something that we can spend our legendary shards on. Now, you might be questioning that. How, how is this about legendary shards? I'm going to show you in just a moment. Now, if you've seen this method floating around on YouTube over the last couple of days, um, yes, I've known about this for about a week. I've been doing it for a fair while, but I didn't want to put a video up on it originally because I honestly thought that it was a little bit broken and, well, I didn't want to cover it. But so many bigger YouTubers have been doing it. I thought, you know, to hell with it. Let's just get it out there. For you guys that don't know about it, then you are in the same boat as everyone else. And it comes down to whether you want to do it or not. Now, I am sure Bungie are going to fix it sooner rather than later. Um, because, like I say, it's, it's a little bit broken. I have to be honest. But with all that aside, guys, let's jump in and take a look at it, okay? Um, so here we are, we're in the tower. We are on my um, newly created hunter, and as you can see up here, I have 1700 legendary shards, okay? We have a fair few mods in our inventory here. Um, what else is worth noting? Okay, we're on like 471 gunsmith materials, okay? Now, in our inventory, under our weapons, we have nothing. We have the ones equipped, and that is it, okay? That is all we are going to have. We're going to put all of the rest of our stuff in the vault. We're going to open up our vault, we're going to go across to collections, and we are going to take out a load of weapons for each slot, okay? We're going to maximise each slot out. This will cost you 10 legendary shards each time, okay? I'll take three out for a moment. Um, I'm going to do it exactly the same here in the energy slot, so let's grab some of these. Now, obviously, you would do this, guys, by absolutely maxing out, and we need a heavy weapon. There we go. Um, so, yeah, you would normally max this out. You would, you know, fill all of your slots to do this, but for the sake of showing you in the video and trying to keep it a bit shorter, um, let's do that. Uh, so there you go, we've lost some legendary shards here, okay? It costs 10 legendary shards to buy an exotic. However, when you break one of these exotics down, as you are going to see now, you get <laughs> five of those shards back again, but you also get three gunsmith materials. So that is, of course, a very nice return. In effect, you are spending five legendary shards uh, to get yourself three gunsmith materials. Now, why that doesn't sound necessarily a lot when you've got as many, as many legendary shards as I have, and I know a lot of other people have, then um, th this is useful, okay? Because there isn't a lot else to spend those on. So we're going to do this. We're going to we're going to break them all down here, and uh, as you can see, our legendary shards are still going up. Uh, we are, of course, still getting gunsmith materials. Now, obviously, the more legendary shards you have, guys, then the better this is going to work. It is going to uh, allow you to buy more of them. So there we go. We've, we've broken down those uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine exotics we had there. We've got 40-odd legendary shards. And, of course, we now have gunsmith materials. We can, of course, bring these over, and we can use those to level up Banshee when we level him up. Of course, we get a legendary, but we also get some mods, okay? These mods can can then be put into legendary mods. I'm not actually 280 on this character because I've got some blue gear on here still. Like I said, it's a new hunter. But you can exchange these, okay, into legendary mods. So, yeah. It's pretty useful, guys. Like I say, especially if you have a lot of legendary shards, you have nothing to do with them. Maybe you are looking for certain exotics and you haven't got them yet of course Banshee has the chance to drop you exotics every time you level him up so yeah it's out there now guys like I said a lot of people have already covered this I didn't want to originally but you know I think it is definitely one of those things that is going to play into people's favor um, personally like I said I've been doing it a couple of days and um, I'm actually going to save all of my um, gunsmith materials. Now the reason I'm doing that is the uh, same reason that I'm saving EDZ tokens, IO tokens, Nessus tokens, Crucible tokens, Trials tokens, Raid tokens. I'm saving absolutely everything guys because I am max light on all of my characters now. Um, <laughs> I know the hunter you have just seen isn't but my main hunter is and I just pass the stuff between the two of them depending on what I'm playing on. So I I'm maxed out. You know, I, I just don't need to spend them. I have all the armor that I want. I have the weapons that I want. There is no point in, in just 
throwing away all those tokens when I can use those uh, with the first DLC C comes or when the prestige version of the wave comes you know basically when the next light level increases and we get that power level up and things like that I can then hand in all my tokens I can you know speed through the levels again making content as easy as it is now for myself which you know isn't really that bad a thing so yeah there we have it guys that, that is basically what you can do like I said you can just keep dismantling them you can do this again and again and again and again the more legendary shards you have the more exotics you can buy to break down the more gunsmith materials you will get and like i said at the moment guys it's not like we have a lot of stuff uh, to spend the legendary shards on now i would say you know probably probably keep yourself above like two or three hundred legendary shards don't go blowing them all you know zur might come and sell that one piece of exotic gear that you don't have and you need um you know you might need them to infuse something at, at the odd point so i wouldn't blow all of your shards but if, like myself, you do have an awful lot of them, then, um, yeah, you know, it, it is worth doing <laughs> to a point. It's up to you guys. You know, I'm not going to say go and do it. it. It is, of course, up to you. If you think this is something right to do, if you think it, you know, if you don't think it's right to do, um, don't do not do it. But like I said, I, I honestly think Bungie are going to fix this rather soon. I don't think they're going to leave it this way. Um, but that's just my opinion. As always, though, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like the video, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for daily Destiny videos. But for now, Guardians, as always, thank you very much for watching. And until the next one, I'll catch you all soon.